The first process in assembling one of our channel slider kits is to actually attach the, your chosen gear motor, whether it's one of our, well we recommend one of our precision uh, robot zone gear motors, or you can use one of our three to 12 volt uh, gear motors as well. So anyway, once you've chosen a motor and you're ready to assemble, the first thing we wanna do is actually attach the gear motor to a gear motor mount, and then obviously to the channel. So we'll go ahead and begin that process. So what you wanna do is you go ahead and grab your gear motor, grab the motor mount here, and you might have to rotate the motor mount around there. As you can see, there's multiple holes uh, for various types of gear motors and motors itself. So might have to rotate around, figure out which holes need to line up where. And next we're going to go ahead and put our three millimeter Phillips head screws in, just like so. Oops, I drop a screw there. And we will get this tightened down here. Make that nice and tight. Just double check, because these screws are not gonna be easy to get to later on if, uh, if it becomes loose. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab one of our shafts here. Oops, excuse me, one of our shafts here. You can see the kit is, is, includes two lengths of shafts. You wanna grab the shorter of the two shafts and also grab your the quarter to six millimeter uh, shaft coupler. We want to go ahead and put the shaft into the coupler as shown and line up the D in the shaft or the flat in the shaft and tighten that down. Next we're going to go ahead and then place that onto the gear motor. Of course line up the flat on the shaft and tighten that down as well. But then what we're going to do is actually we're going to take the short shaft back out the reason why we do that is because it allows us, since the six mil is smaller in diameter than the, than the quarter inch shaft, it allows us to get our depth exactly right um, when sliding that on. So we're gonna just double check, make sure that's nice and tight. Okay, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually attach our, basically our, our um, um, hub adapter Comes, the kick actually comes with two of them. We actually want to grab the shorter of the two and actually attach it to the flat plate here. We want to use some 632 by quarter socket head cap screws. We're going to use four of these. We're going to mount it directly right in the center of this plate. Another one here, another one there. And go ahead and tighten these down. And what this is going to do is it's going to step the motor off of the channel um, and make, actually make room for the pulley. So let's go through and just double check, make sure all the screws are nice and tight because once again these are not going to be easy to get to later on. So next we're going to go ahead and attach this assembly to the gear motor. And once again we're going to use four more socket head cap screws quarter inch length. Put all four of them in there, like so. And I'm not tightening them all down yet until we get all, all four of them in. Now we can go back and tighten these down nice and tight. I'll say it again, these, these, these uh, screws aren't going to be easy to get to later on, so you really want to make sure that they are nice and snug. So next what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, now we're going to uh, attach this assembly to the channel. Let's move some of our parts over here. Where's our channel? We actually have a 24 inch length of channel here, but obviously you can build a slider um, or change the kit around and use whatever length of channel you'd like. So as you can see, the gear motor actually has an offset to it as well, when, even when it's on the assembly. Uh, we recommend you, you can obviously put it in any different direction, but we like to put the assembly where the motor is set back a little bit this direction. So you can see here, the offset is towards the back. So we're gonna go ahead and use some 632 by quarter screws again. Place them in here. We'll get the first one started here. First one's always usually the most difficult to get started, but there we go. Place the other one in as well. There'll be four of these to put in. that one in there. The one on the back's not the easiest one to get to, but here we go. We're not going to tighten these down all the way yet. We're going to wait till we get that shaft in there. Get everything nice, nicely aligned. So now we've got it in there, but it's, you can rattle around a little bit. It's a little, little bit loose. 
So next what we're going to do is we're going to take the quarter inch shaft that we had you pull out and we're actually going to grab the quarter inch flange ball bearings, half inch, uh, um, half inch OD, quarter inch bore. We're going to go ahead and place that in the end of the, end of the channel here. We're going to go ahead and slide, whoops, actually, excuse me, the longer shaft. We're going to go ahead and slide the longer shaft in. Slide that through the bearing first. There we go. Now you can see it sticks out a little bit. So we've got the longer shaft in there. Now we're going to put our drive here. And you're going to have to do this if, if you've uh, forgotten, as I did, as I did to uh, rotate that around. So we've got to rotate the motor around so we actually have access to the set screw here. So now that we've done that, I'll pull that back off there. Now that we have everything perfectly aligned, we can go ahead and tighten that shaft down, make sure that the set screw is actually right on the flat spot. Now we can come back in and actually tighten these four screws down. There we go. Last one here. Now those are all tightened back down. Now, yet one more time, we want to take this shaft back out, loosen that up, Wiggle that shaft out of there. And now what we need to do is go ahead and grab our belt that comes in the kit. We're going to go ahead and place that in here. And we'll also be now grabbing one of two. Uh, the kit actually comes with two of them. Um, they're both all identical, so can't get those mixed up. I'm going to go ahead and place the belt in there and actually place the belt underneath the pulley. We're going to go ahead and place this back in, so run the shaft through the pulley and back into the coupler. As you can see here, I can move the pulley freely, set screws right there, shaft as well. Now we're going to go ahead and tighten this shaft back up, make sure you press it all the way in there, nice and tight, Let's line this back up. There we go, press that ball bearing down in there. Now we're going to go ahead and tighten the set screw on the shaft coupler back in. Next, we're going to go ahead and line up the pulley with the hole on the back side. You can see there, just, just make sure you get the pulley basically in the middle of the channel here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and tighten that back down. Make sure that's resting right on the D. Make sure you're setting the set screw on the flat spot or the D section of the shaft. Tighten that back down. Tighten it down. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab one of our little black spacers from the pack and we're going to place that over the quarter inch shaft and what that allows us to do is allows this coupler not to run on the race or the, actually the outer part of the ball bearing but gives a nice little barrier there so that way the plastic runs directly on the race of the, of the uh, ball bearing so once again we're going to tighten that down on the flat of the shaft and there you go now you have your drive mechanism obviously the belt is loose but uh, that will be uh, another step where you'll see us how see how we actually tighten the belt up and uh, get everything else going. So that's the first step, and we'll move on to this part number two here in just a bit.